What's up, everybody? What's going on, Midlothian? So uh, this is just an impromptu. <laughs> the funny thing about us is, you know, we hang out here in the Fantasy Factory, and everybody that watched the first episode, uh, is everybody's been asking about the Fantasy Factory first and foremost. It is, yeah. Hadn't they? Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. You know? So, you know. Yeah, I bet you've had a bunch of invites. Or I have. Not invites, I but have. people asking to be invited. Hey, if you guys hear some crashes, we had some kids out here skateboarding, and they were having a blast. And we're going to let them roll. We're going to let them <laughs> so roll. As long as they stay yeah. away from the motorcycles, we are cool. So this is kind of a little bonus edition, you know, kind That's of right. filling the gap right. until, our, right. uh, until our big one comes up here <laughs> in the next couple of days. It's so, coming up. So does everybody recognize this guy? <laughs> what up, y'all? You know who it is, Dustin Slayton. Dustin Slayton, the owner of Lucky's Barbershop. Yeah, splitting wigs. In. Get your, he wig, gave, he get gave, your wig trimmed up. Yeah. He gave me a good shave today and shaved my dome, so yeah, we're going really and truly, we were just sitting here, uh, John and I, going over a few things that we've got going on, and he said, well, you know, D Dustin's coming over. What you, you got something going to your truck? What, what, what are we doing? Yeah, I actually stopped by here to pick up parts of my truck and then get rooked into being on a podcast. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, While well, you guys talk for a second. Miller Lights. Yeah, yeah and we I'm, had to. And who's your sponsor, Miller Lights? Who'd you bring with you? Hey, hang on a second. Can you shut that margarita machine off? Shut the margarine machine. Yeah, okay. just turn the, the party off. Turn the party off already. Yeah, no, no, we can party off. Trying to make a podcast. It's what frozen. We can hey. dispense at any time. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Just it's the bottom, off. Yeah. But hey, it got it got it got nice and quiet. Yeah, yeah man. So yeah. I, this is my friend Glade Smith. Uh, yeah, Glade. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Buddy? What's up? Yeah. Former yeah. owner of uh, Hellbent Holsters. Yes, yes. absolutely. And, and that's fun. Baddest holsters ever made. They were pretty badass, dude. You were like at the cutting edge. Hey, but your marketing, your marketing was crazy. Pretty fun, wasn't it? I mean, did you? come up with all the designs yourself or it's because a team effort man because like i said i remember i told you i told you before uh a little bit ago before we 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 uh strapped up here with the headphones that yeah i knew richard uh fennel who was yep. uh he's a family friend of uh, of mine and yeah, he dude. worked for you for a, a long quite time. Some time huh yeah quite quite a while, mullet man mullet man dude he now was, that's he a was guy a that's the guy who's branded himself yeah <laughs> not even on purpose he just no he, just, he doesn't even have a mullet anymore though that's what's think, up no, no he does does have it i think he oh, brought he it back. back yeah i nice. think he brought it back oh is he bringing it back I but, think but he was doing it three years ago like he had like the jew for old mullet yeah he did but dustin how many mullets are you cutting now i oh, mean is it, is it still popular <laughs> somebody actually messaged me today and they're like who in the shop can cut a mullet and i was like everybody, everybody. <laughs> come on everybody. that's a standard haircut now we only do 14 a day yeah right. dude <laughs> mohawks have been like uh huge huge this freaking uh, well the kids you know when they summertime hits and they, i mean they, i'm, they I'm rocking a mohawk right now yeah, for yeah. uh it to honor my friend uh matt law that passed away from covid in november oh wow yeah uh, so yeah. he always rocked a mohawk and he he was one of my clients like uh, original client when i was cutting out of my house i think i read about this and on you know, when he passed we, we went and had like a, a prayer vigil that saturday before he passed and he passed that night uh, after thanksgiving so not to get personal but i think i remember a facebook post correct me if i'm wrong did did you give him his last haircut? Was I that did. The, okay? That was the one. Okay, yeah. You know, wow. people and I don't want to go into too much of that because I'm not the, trying to. Like uh, Randy that owns the funeral uh, place here in Midlothian. Yeah, uh, he's yeah. asked me before. He's like, "Hey, we can cut this person's hair. He wants a military cut or something like that." And I was just like, "Ah, man, I'm I'm not a mortician or embalmer. I'm not the undertaker. Like, I'm not." Any I mean, that's, of that that's kind of a different. <laughs> but Matt's wife like personally called me on the phone. She's like, you know, you were his favorite. Like, will you cut his hair? And I was like, I will. And my wife, man, she's gangster. She's a she's a nurse. Actually, yeah. just got her nurse uh, practitioner's license. So wow, congratulations! Yeah, man. congratulations. That's awesome. Uh, she went over there with me, and yeah, we took a we took a couple shots of whiskey in the parking lot and went there and cut his hair. And it was it something that you had anxiety over? I mean, I. I, I I, you know, I couldn't even imagine. It was when COVID all was though. like first like beginning, so it was like you know get all like gowned up, strapped up, all this you know face masks and stuff. And once I got in there, I saw Matt, and I was just like, oh man, it's my boy. You know, it, yeah, it was it was buddy. cool then. I, I was it wasn't that big a deal. You know, um, it was definitely weird just cutting someone that is just passed no longer away. With like, us, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. It, was, it was definitely different, but. I did. You Are know, you glad you did it? Yeah, no, man. Yeah. I'm so glad that I did it. Uh, I love that dude, and I'm 
you know, yeah. miss him all the time. And it comes yeah. from a place of love, man. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And that's, that's why I've been rocking the the Mohawk. I'm going to rock until his anniversary of his passing. And awesome, awesome. Rock that the whole time. So fantastic. Love you, Matt. Fantastic. Fantastic. Love you, Matt. Prayers. So, but anyways, Clay, what's going on with you now, man? I mean, uh, oof, man, I haven't I, seen I, that badass truck you used to drive. Around. <laughs> so you yeah, sold Hellbent holsters. I did. I sold it in August of uh, 2019, and then uh, some family stuff happened, and uh, man, it kind of set me on this whole go find yourself journey across the United States. Really, man, I bought, I sold all my play toys, and I bought a, uh, a an FJ with a seven and a half inch lift, and full overland setup and man i just kind of no, you had some toys though i did i Dude. had a bunch of stuff i mean anybody <laughs> that's ever went to the website or the facebook page yeah i mean yeah well you know that was kind of that was kind of the thing i had um i had worked for people my whole life i'm a really really creative individual and it's really hard to find kind of my place in a work field sort of say you know i'm, I'm not a nine to five guy i've never been so I just decided, you know what? I only know how to be myself. And I just brought everybody with me, dude. I mean, we all played on everything we had. And I mean, we got in trouble. We got caught middle of police on us more than I think any other business. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, that guy can. Oh, so right. where were you guys located at? Just right off of, um, where is it right over here, Dustin? Right off of the, right behind the. Right by, uh, I can't even remember. Transmission, those, yeah, yeah, yeah. those uh, industrial buildings just right past. Is that 9th Street? That that would be the service road of sixty seven. Yeah, sir, okay, I'm sorry, service, service road sixty seven. And there's that yeah, other yeah. there's a I can't know I don't know the guy's name that has the uh, it's before you get the Exxon station. They, the, there's a mechanic shop there too. It's on the okay. Office. So and the church the, the church that got got destroyed in a tornado. Yeah, yeah. that was yeah. On, that was on the. What? North, okay. Northbound side, south. Yeah. You know where all the yeah. cars and stuff are parked at when they yeah. import them? Right. Our shop was right on. Yeah. Okay. Right, right yeah. there. Right, right, right past the transmission shop. Yep. yep. Yeah. There you go. On yeah. that yep. little side duck out. But that's where we were at, man. And we just kind of took advantage of <laughs> all that property. We played four. We rode four wheelers. Like, I never had any break times. Like, my guys would show up in the morning and had a list of things to do, and they're getting paid a certain amount of money to do it. And man, they just love that, you know. So how they did you start the, that company? I mean, in just... the attic of my house, right here in Middle Lothian, man. I'm, you know, I, wow. I grew up as a gun guy, and as I got older, I wanted to start, you know, had a family. I want to start carrying carrying my pistol, and you know, at the time, it wasn't really accessible to buy holsters, you know, nine years ago. Right. And yeah. if you were, it was going to be, you know, two hundred fifty bucks, and you'll get it in six months, you know. So yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. And I had a whole drawer full of them, so I just kind of decided I had uh, I did upholstery, you know, and um, I used to do private interior private interiors for jets, and so we used a lot of material. We used Kydex back then before it was any kind of wow. tactical anything. It was yeah, the mobile yeah. stuff for all the all private jet stuff. So. Um, anyways, I just kind of started messing with it then and I made my own pistol holster one time and carried the crap out of it and started taking pistol classes out at ETTS out here. And oh, wow. that just, I mean, that was at the beginning before, I mean, he was still pushing up dirt, you yeah, know, when man. I went out there. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, so what's next? I mean, sold the company, sold the company, sold your toys, made a whole bunch of money, had a <laughs> bunch of cool shit, and, and uh, yeah, dude. So I just kind of took a break, you know. When you run that hard, that fast, you man, you you do all that you want to do. It's kind of comes down to, you know, you kind of have to recenter yourself almost, you yeah, know, to yeah. what life really is. Exactly. And so, right. I got, I mean, that's my that was my journey for the past year and a half, you know, and. Uh, it's been great. It's been awesome. Um, but yeah, man, we just got uh, feeling getting tattoos. Yeah, I got a tattoo today. Yeah, you know, man. it's pretty <laughs> rad. Making making stuff. I go out to Savannah, Georgia, out at a company called Key Bar. He's one of my lifelong friends. Mike Taylor owns it, and uh, he has a big old facility. You know, and he manufactures all kind of products. Look at there. Wow. I got all the stuff. Yeah, pull, yeah, pull, pull it out. Pull it out. Let me pull see out. Let me Check this Key out. Bar. Hey, they're watching too. They can see that. Okay, yeah. So Key what Bar. Key Bar. He invented. Uh, Mike Taylor was a janitor. Oh, wow. And he had tons of keys. That is incredible. And he invented this, and he basically works with you know all kinds of exotic materials: Timascus, Moku uh, titanium, yeah, copper. That's solid copper. I mean, it's 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 amazing. Oh, he builds dude, that is cool. All that 100 awesome. percent American-made, American yeah, manufacturing. Let me, let me get it on the camera real quick. Yeah, yeah go keep ahead. On go talking. Ahead. Yeah. So no. Mike, you know, Mike kind of saw me, you know, kind of going through. Whenever you sell your baby and you put so much effort into something, you kind of you don't know what to do next. You right. Know? You right. Got, you got a pocket full of something, but you don't know really what to do. Man. So he just, he's kind of invited me and I just go out there for a month at a time and we just invent stuff. I mean, literally that, that cool. I mean, we just kind of a scene like this, a bunch of machines everywhere. And, and he offers a whole bunch of other stuff too, like yeah. knives and like 
I mean, like anything, Carabin challenge, or challenge coins. He makes tons of challenge coins, right. titanium. Yeah, and yeah. Exotic metals. So. Cool stuff. Yeah, just, just stuff. Just, just, just cool stuff. Anything. Anything. stuff. Man, so, Dustin, I mean, uh, can, can we talk about what, what you've got on the horizon? As far as what? <laughs> Down to 87? <laughs> Yeah, man, it's that's just. Well, I uh, mean, I mean, just, I don't want to have to edit let's this let's later, pray, so if we can talk about it, I mean, I, I'd love for you to it, tell it the happens. community what you. So what your vision one of my is. clients, uh, Blake Parker, he yep. came to me probably a year ago, maybe, maybe a little less, maybe a year ago. I don't know, but he asked me. He's like, "Would you, you know, consider moving?" And I was like, "Yeah, if the place is cool, you know, and stuff like that." Nothing really, I don't know. Nothing really came of it. Just kind of conversation and then probably two months ago three months ago walked into the shop to get a haircut and he threw down a manila envelope and had my name on it and he's like this is kind of a mock-up of what the building we're trying to build and you know are you still willing to move and i was like absolutely um right now we're we're waiting on the city to approve drive through we missed the cutoff for this month, so we'll be on the docket next month. So, so the drive through yeah. I, 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 I don't. People, please vote. I'm not 100. percent Everybody knows exactly what we're talking about. I mean, so yeah. Well, no. people relate. People know you own Lucky's Barbershop. Yeah. And you know, so now obviously the number can, one barbershop in Midlothian, or in my opinion, Ellis County. The and beyond. coolest, but, besides the Fantasy Factory, is the coolest man cave in town. Yeah, no, but I, I mean, yeah, you put a lot of you amazing, put a lot of hard yeah, work into it. Here. But I mean, <laughs> we're not necessarily talking a barbershop here, and I don't think everybody, no, you know, no they're no, listening no, knows what about, we're talking about. We're talking about making a drive-through for a coffee shop. So it'll be Lucky's Coffee and Cuts is what we're trying to shoot for. Just Hopefully, expanding the brand. Yeah, expanding the brand. You know, and maybe maybe later working with this we, guy. We, hey, we've got we've stuff. got we've got some stuff, and we can't <laughs> release that now. I no. mean, episodes later, but just <laughs> yeah, hey, little, little hey, trinkets. The great minds in Midlothian are at work. I can promise you that. And that's awesome. But for now, it's a great time in Midlothian. But for now, man. Dustin Slayton, as as yourself, you've. You've got some things going on yeah, with the yeah. with the coffee shop. I went and took a coffee school. I went to a coffee class. It's like a three day class to kind of educate myself on like coffee, like the business side of coffee, and just in case you don't know about this guy, he is an education junkie. If there's something he's interested he's in, that he wants he's to excel, yeah, he nails it like a deal. ninja. I mean, this guy will go in and learn everything about thing. it. And then when he come back into a shop, I mean, one day it could be a t-shirt press or a hat press. Next day it's a full blown barista setup. I of mean, course. he's got this. <laughs> Huge ass reverse osmosis water system that he's messing with right now. Or yeah. they're talking about why well, shaving my head. I'm going, hey, you know, slow down a little bit there, yeah, buddy. Right? But I mean, yeah, four thousand people voted for him, and yes. he worked did, through the I, whole. I lost like, the city he, council. I didn't win. He, he, yeah, he, 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 he exactly. No. He but four thousand people voted for you, and you went to work every day. And you had yeah, one sign. I had four. Okay. Four times. I had four. <laughs> I could have done a better job at uh, promoting myself. I definitely could have done that. Um, you gotta cut them wigs, man. It was, it was a different experience, I think, because of the COVID thing. Yeah, just COVID kind of sucked. Really, like, there was yeah. no uh, in person. So, like, do you think you're done? And stuff you're, like that. Are you done with all that? And, but your wife was gone too, so you had everything in the family. You you were all by yourself. Yeah. I mean, you had to run a campaign. You had to run the business. You had to make sure the kids were taken care of. Yep. You have a campaign manager. While your wife was in New York talking uh, medical. Mike stuff. Smith was was kind of my campaign manager. Um, but I mean, I could have done better. I definitely could have done better. I'm not gonna say I couldn't. And if somebody said, hey, yeah, you could have done better, I'm, I'm not going to disagree with you. Well, I mean, it's it's neither here nor there, but I think, uh, I, I think personally, I would like to see a little more of you in the future. I, uh, I on think that with all these ventures that I'm trying to Being a business do... owner, I mean, you have the charisma. <laughs> I got the gift of gab. No, that's it. And it's not so much the gift of gab, in my opinion, is it's the it factor. You know, every now and then, you know, every now and again, you, you see that person that just has that it factor. The guy built a barbershop that the kids go crazy for. And when I say the kids, I'm talking, I've got nephews that, uh, and his friends, the the, the the middle school kids, I mean, they go to school and my son will tell you. If you go to Lucky's Barbershop to get your hair cut, I mean, you are on a different level when it Man, comes to the school system. <laughs> People definitely bad. think it's uh, it's very deceiving when you pull up. It looks like you're probably going to get murdered in the back of this alleyway of a industrial park. Like, it just... 
It's deceptive, and then you open the door, and it's like, oh, <laughs> it's like those, uh, like those movies you see, like they have the little little bitty tent, and mm-hmm. then you go inside the little bitty tent, and it's like a giant <laughs> castle inside. You're like, yeah. whoa, what the heck? Like a <laughs> Harry Potter kind of There's thing. There's just so much stuff everywhere. I think it keeps people intrigued. You yeah, know? it keeps but something more stuff. always new. But and stuff? people add stuff to to the shop all the time. Like they just want to be part of the cool journey part, and yeah. and stuff like that. Like John's challenge or uh, poker chip coins in there, like. Seen it city uh, cycles banners up in there. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff, man. What were you gonna say, John? Well, you know, there's a lot of things that people don't know about Dustin. He's not only, you know, he used to be a what a diesel mechanic, yep. Uh, and then you you started beard the beard products, yep. And now you, you put yourself through Barber's College, yep. And you're gonna be a barista, yeah. Let's talk about the ministry. Man, every day at the shop, I think it's a ministry. I think <laughs> when so I got true. fired from my job as a uh, heavy equipment supervisor, like God was just telling me, it's like, I got I got something for you. You know, I, I got something for you to do. And uh, I didn't know the road that I was going to go down and like the, the trials and tribulations I was going to go through. Like I went through a divorce. I lost my unemployment. Uh, at one point, God was telling me to sell my house. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? I don't have any money. I'm broke. I'm like, I was telling him today, we went and ate McDonald's before we came over here. Yeah. I literally made it through barber school off Big Macs. Like they would, you could fill out a survey, and yeah. you would get a free Big Mac. So I would get a free Big Mac, and buy a small fry, a small drink for three bucks, and that's that's what I ate every day. <laughs> and I think school. I think somehow, and I know I know one thing so about true. you. I mean, you 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 mentor people that just kind of happen to fall in your lap. I guess I, I don't know how it happens, but you are an advocate of I guess celebrate recovery yes. and. Uh, you do a lot of work with 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 those guys and uh, or with that with that organization and um, uh, I mean I, I personally have have seen two people come through your life that I that I have that, that I know as well I'm not won't mention their names that you've uh, you felt a connection to and and wanted to help yeah um, I, I think just a lot of times being a barber man you turn into like a, a a therapist or a therapist if they want to, you want to say the, the conversations I've had with people has just been incredible you know I'm spending 30 minutes to an hour with somebody every two weeks to once a month you know I've, I've shared I've had conversations with people about divorces about marriages about struggles in marriages about having cancer about beating cancer about death about yeah you know, having a new baby having a new grandson like going on a trip those things man i've i've had some some epic conversations a yeah. lot of business investment talks i mean like oh yeah i'll bring that up I've, i'm the guy on the couch at his barbershop a lot of times <laughs> yeah you know i just kind of chill and just sit in the background and yeah. i think i'm so impressed all the time i mean people people come to just come up and start asking him you know, like, hey man what do you think about this or do you know anybody for that or i'm one of those guys yeah. I, I mean we'll share so many it's kind of crazy with me it's crazy uh, there's something about the barber chair man it's kind of like a, it's kind of kind of like a confessional you know it is <laughs> it's it sure. down that seat sure <laughs> It doesn't take much to drag out per- people's lives. And, 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 and I just think talk the reason about, why it's like that. And you have because, to be able to tell your barber anything. Yeah, and it, it is. It's definitely like Vegas in there, man. You, you, what stays in, you know, what you say in the, the barber problem shop is you probably in. know everything about everybody in the city, all their dirty secrets. <laughs> you I hold mean, the key to everything. Yeah, I wish. I, <laughs> I wish. And, and that's, you know, anonymity and confidentiality is, is yeah. definitely part of it, man. Yeah. Like what you say, bro, it's like it's straight Vegas inside that shop. But the, cult, the culture in there is like something that's it, never been seen in this town. And either, that's why so. I don't I don't give out the Wi-Fi password. That's why I don't have te- TVs. Like, I want people to, like, interact with each other in there, you know, and just yeah. talk. Just, you know, yeah, you, you, you go into most shops and being, there's a chair. You know, there's your waiting chairs. We have couches and a coffee table and a, and a, and a dining room table. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've literally, I've literally brought McDonald's. Funny, McDonald's. My wife and, today, and, and yeah. kids, we we've walked in there with our McDonald's and sat at the kitchen table at Lucky's and had. A, <laughs> and that's not just as, a small they, table. Well, because we're it's talking, huge. We're talking it's about huge. like a t- what is it, twelve right. person sit down table? Well, because you know, if I go in with all four of my kids, they're we're talking thirty minute appointments. That's that's two hours. You're right, so that's a long time. Let's go eat. You you can eat when you get done with your haircut. You eat before you're done. You know, just yeah. dude. Two Two hours in that place goes quick. Though. It really yeah. does. I mean, I could think of a lot worse places to be. I, mean, I definitely enjoy my job, man. I, it I, is. You know, whenever, I, like I said, I got fired. I mean, I how did got, you just luck out to get the barbers that you got? Paige, Cody, I mean, 
I'm one of those guys, and, and you can, I, I you like can validate this. All that, dude. No, no one person at Lucky's cuts my mm. hair. Everybody's cut my hair yeah. at their shop. And, and I tell everybody that. I was like, listen, I'm going to make my appointment that morning. Whoever's got the opening, I'm going to get my hair cut from. So, I mean, yep. and you even said you, you promoted that. You promoted that. You said, you know, it, it's everybody's equally as yeah. As it, it's not cheating talented. as long as you're in the same house. It's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's right. So, not cheating, and we all understand that in there as barbers and and anybody that's it's my client right now. I'm I'm being honest with you right now. I don't get butt hurt that you go and see another barber. I don't get butt hurt that you go to another barber establishment. I'm just I'm just not like that, man. Like I understand life happens and you get busy and you got stuff going on and. You know, maybe you couldn't just get in with anybody at the shop. Like, I understand. I take that back. There's one person, uh, the, the new Delaney lady girl. that you've Delaney. hired. She, Delaney. She hasn't cut my hair yet, but I'll, I'll get her on the next run. Yeah, she's just, gangster. That way she's I can gangster. say she's <laughs> gangster. Dustin, Cody, Paige, and the. Del- Delaney? Yeah, Delaney. Del- Delaney's, all, all of them cut. Patrick, Patrick's cut my hair too. No, uh, as far as how, how I got everybody, man, I just, I really let God just kind of. You pick kinda, and choose. No, I really let God just put the right people that wanted to, that wanted to be there. I didn't pursue anybody. Like, Paige messaged me, uh, she emailed me from her, her. Um, school? School, yeah. Her school told told them to like, look on online and try to find shops that you think would be. Your speed which, which and she's speed. a badass, by the way. Yeah, she's, she's a, a marine. marine. Well, yeah. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Paige, but Paige she's li- is a badass. Oh, yeah. my God. She's literally, what, she's in... She's in infantry school in, right infantry now. Infantry yeah. school shooting machine guns. Oh, she's yep. doing all kinds of stuff. She's gangster, man. She's, yeah. She's really co- overcome she a lot of adversities in her life, and I'm I'm proud of her. I'm proud of what she's accomplished and what she's doing, and I'm, I'm proud that she's part of the shop, and, and, and it's such an example to, like, young women and... and yeah. young women that are her her age exactly that, you know what like yeah girls can do the same thing boys can do and they can and do she it she does it they can know, do it better sometimes <laughs> Paige does it better than a no, lot of guys that's what I'm saying yeah. don't ever there, think there, you're there, there, shoot her she can shoot no <laughs> she's in in my opinion the top 10 percent of barbers top, top two percent of barbers in in, in the world uh she can bench press more than most men. <laughs> she can wear an evening dress better than most women right. and can shoot a M4. In know, high yeah. heels better than anybody. Yeah. Than anybody. <laughs> so, yeah, so she, she emailed me, asked if she could come down to the shop, and she came down and hung out for about three hours, and I, I emailed her back, and I was like, yeah, I think you'd be a perfect fit. And, you know, we went through a whole lot of highs and lows. There was a whole lot of days that me and her both were just like staring at the walls because there was nobody to cut their hair. And, you know, she weathered the storm with me. So she's been with me the whole two years we've been open. Um, and then she mentioned, well, I'll take that back. Patrick came along. Uh, Bonnie. Sean. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Beyonce, yeah. A.K.A. Wife. She's so sweet. Slash wife, what do you want to say? She's uh, so sweet. Yeah, she's super sweet. I, I knew Patrick as a younger kid. I just hadn't seen him in a long time. But she's like, hey, yeah, you know, Patrick could come up here and work. And he's he's goofy like he fits in like he's always got a you know happy-go-lucky personality and he's just just a goofball but man he's fun he loves space he you know he fits he definitely uh Paige definitely gives him a lot of banner and sometimes hurts his feelings but hey that's Paige <laughs> and then Paige, have to explain uh, with Paige because yeah. she, she, she throws it uh, dang don't don't sell Delaney short Delaney is right on the heels of Paige as far as like dishing it out she yeah well like I said like I said I haven't I she's just uh, well, she's just well ruthless. when you cut my hair go cool. no Cody did you were you you were booked again you the I switch around I mean that's just the way it happens Cody cut my hair the uh, last week um, and that's the first time I'd seen her there and I and I even thought to myself man I, I didn't think about I, I would have gone to her. Yeah. I, I like to try them all out. You wouldn't bring them there if they weren't quality. No, and that's the thing, too. Like, that's another thing. Like, I let God put the right people in there that were quality. I wasn't trying to get, you know, turnover of clients and get, you know, quantity. I wanted quality that people would be very close to me as far as, like, uh, their craftsmanship, their attention to detail, uh, their customer service, like, how they talk to people. Like, that, that's what I was looking for. That's when Cody came in as after Patrick. Cody Page yeah. suggested right. Cody. He's a he's former Box Springs PD. I think he was a police officer like ten years. Yeah, he's got a bio actually. If you'll go to Lucky's 
yeah, we all got about website. Yeah, there, there's you. You, wrote us all you guys did a great job of talking about who you are. Yeah. Uh, and Cody's is pretty descriptive. Yeah. Uh, it'll tell you about them. Yeah, no, Cody's a, Cody's a rad dude. He's got a super cool beard. Man, super jealous, uh, badass mustache. <laughs> that dude's got a killer mustache, man. That's awesome. He does. And then Delaney, <laughs> Delaney came along. She's been here. My wife's asking where I'm at. She had no idea if we were doing this. So, so Delaney came from the man cave, and and I'm not so much in in stealing people. Where's the away. man cave? The man cave is in Walks of Hatch. Okay, I didn't know. Anyway, they're the ones that won yeah. best in Alice County last year, and yeah. you know, kudos to them. That's were you point. nominated? I was nominated. Uh, I lost. Oh, I'm. Uh, I was in a losing streak last year in 2020. How long? Have you, you're brand new. You're, 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 <laughs> you know, I didn't even know that. You know, that's a public new. vote, though. I mean. All that would all we had to do is just share some links. And how long? Was, hey, how long? I just got know. nominated again, so you did. Just well, share the oh, link. I don't, with the, I don't know where, where it's even at. Sean so, when it told me. He's so here's there. the deal. How long is this? Do you even? Does anybody have a clue how long this Best of Ellis County's been going on? 2018, 2017. Is that when it started? I think so. Well, because I know, uh, you know, Brandenburger. Everybody knows I've the self-proclaimed ambassador of Brandenburger. Uh, my most and beloved Brad, friends in the world. Brandon the Burger of Midlothian, yes. Brandon Burger of Midlothian yes. and Mansfield. Yes. Oh, Mansfield. Uh, awesome. You know, my a guy, my mentor, a guy I consider a big brother. I mean, I can call him a friend if I want to, but to me, he's, he's more than that. Uh, but uh, uh, they've won best burger in Ellis County the last two years in a row. But yeah, I mean, they've been in the branded burger. That location has been here damn near nine years now. Yeah. So, I mean, it uh, takes a second. I mean, they should win the best chicken salad in Ellis chicken County. Chicken salad. It's oh, great. So good. <laughs> that grilled chicken salad, I can't get enough of it. Yeah. I'm <laughs> making a mess here on but our back table. To the, back That's to Delaney, right. We'll like, she came from the man cave, and I, I wasn't too, I, like I said, I'm not into taking barbers away or anything like, like that. poaching or something? And I didn't even <laughs> pursue her. I didn't even talk to her. Uh, I think Cody, she was messaging Cody about coming over to our shop. And, and then we all, because, you know, you know how girls are. Paige, Paige was no-go on Delaney. <laughs> and I said, well, we're all going to have a, a sit-down talk and, you know, just see how our personality is. Well, you know, she Paige, fit is, in. Paige has been the only girl for a long time. Paige, so intimidates, you know. Paige intimidates me. Yeah, Paige is very, very protective over the shop. She, she takes, is. you know, you know, Lucky's Barbershop seriously. It is her, you know, her job, her place. And, you know, she's not like just going to let anybody just come in there and just right. goof it all up, you know. And it's great to have that, though. It and is her family. The camaraderie is amazing. Yeah. Is and Delaney came over, and, you know, she was definitely in her shell, a little turtle for a while. And, yeah, Delaney's not so much that now. <laughs> she'll, she'll, she'll say some stuff to you right quick. Yeah. So, Clay, do you got any new things that kind of like what are we gonna do the, what we're we gonna do now I mean, what we're we gonna do man the king of cool over here i don't know man you know you want to come hang out in the fantasy factory or are, you, are you gonna you know sure put a machine over there and we can do some lathe <laughs> machine you know make, make all kind of stuff you're like you're like jesse Luminal. james man anything he is, he, touches, the, just... he is the jesse james of this area man i'm telling you dude i just i just enjoy making stuff and i don't know you know it's kind of hard whenever i was telling you earlier you know when you kind of i'm this is what i'm gonna do and then you find like okay i don't want to do that anymore and like what's next is like man that's the ultimate question so what do you consider yourself just a straight up entrepreneur i mean you know I, jesse james always made the comment and and he's so cool i mean he is cool. i'm watching cool the build dude, if i could have anybody build me a motorcycle it would be him <laughs> right? or all the other guys <laughs> yeah. and he's so humble because he's like i'm just a glorified welder that's found a better way to build the same bike yeah over the dude is self-made self-taught i mean he's yeah. just a genius well yeah. that's the way it goes so right? you i mean you know, how do you I, come I, up with man i'm just to be honest i am completely not like what normal c ever consists of i mean i'm i consider myself more of an artist than anything else right i, yeah. I sleep probably four to maybe six hours on a max every 24 hours so um I had this kind of philosophy that, you know, we, ha we have 24 hours. Why not do as much as you can if you want to do something? You know, you don't have to do anything and life is great, right? You're a human being. You can just be and be fine. But if you want to do something, if you're putting your effort towards it, then damn, go and do it. You know, yeah, so right. that's that's been my whole since I was a kid, you know, so whether we're going to play in the creek, shoot snakes, fishing, whatever we're doing, we're doing it all the way. And so it takes a lot 
for me to figure out what's next sometimes because I know whatever it is, it's going all the way. Yeah, you know, there's no, absolutely. There's no like just I don't pigeon toe or put my foot in no, and test. It's, no, it's a no. full, it's a full blow go deal. Yeah, full sand. Full sand. Full sand. <laughs> you, you, you've proved that. You know, and so oh. I got some I got some ideas to you know to, some for some other smaller inventions. Um, we'll see if they pan out. You know. Um, if they do, then they'll be pretty I mean, good. What, but. what's funny is, uh, and we'll wrap up here in a minute, but before we before we even got on the air, John over here, you know, Fantasy Factory, and everybody in town knows John. <laughs> he's over here. He's talking about, hey, can you build me fabricate, invent this, this, and yeah, this? Yeah, I want this cool. fabricated. Yeah, don't get these two guys together. Yeah, There's I have no aluminum build. I want to get There's rid of no the tow hooks in my yeah. truck. There's no telling nice what we'll come up with. Polished billet, billet tow hooks. Yeah, dude, with we these got nice it. Nice big shackles with my logo in there. So and where are we at? Yep. Yeah, we're at 30 minutes. So okay. We wrap this we're going to wrap it up. Like I said, <laughs> no this worries. was an impromptu. These guys came over to the fantasy yeah. factory. You got just a picture of a car. wearing glasses, too. I mean, yeah. he was wearing glasses, so we thought we had to fit all the cool out. So we all you know, put glasses it's on. It's cool. Put your glasses on at home. <laughs> right. But, man, Block the haters. Thank you, yeah, guys. Blocking out the haters. Yeah, no problem. Hey, yeah, I appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Justin. 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 Oh, I'm sorry, Clay. Hey, Clay, we'll get you guys back on. But thanks for sharing a little time with us and everybody out there. Happy Thursday. Let's We're going to put this dude. out tonight. Get it. Later. Bye. Ciao.